Hi, I'm Andy. I'm from All Terrain Cycles. I'm here today to speak to you about Cannondale's new adjustable travel suspension platform found on the Jackals and the Clement. The Jackal being the short travel 140mm trail offering, the Claymore being the longer travel 180mm offering. This radical new shock technology, engineered and manufactured by the suspension wizards at Fox Racing Shocks in collaboration with Cannondale, provides two completely different shock options in one package. Elevate, a short travel, low volume air shock for rolling and climbing terrain, and Flow, a longer travel, high volume linear air shock for aggressive descents. Two totally different air spring volumes, two completely separate damping circuits with separate compression damping settings and separate rebound adjustments, each fully optimised for the intended terrain and available via a handlebar mounted lever. Switching between Elevate and Flow also changes the bike's sag height and geometry, keeping the in the proper position for the terrain. It's fundamentally like having two different bikes available to you at the flick of a switch. The shock itself consists of four main components. You have your damping piston at the top, a shared negative air chamber, a long travel positive air chamber, and round the back the short travel positive air chamber. The damping piston itself doesn't work like a conventional shock which compresses. Rather than moving the damping piston through the oil, the pull shock piston instead moves the oil through one of two SVT valves, stands for stationary valve technologies, assembled into one or both of the positive air chambers compressing the air pistons. In the flow setting, the two positive air chambers are linked, creating a huge volume air spring which is balanced by the independently adjustable negative air spring. The combination of the larger volume positive air spring, the larger volume independently adjustable negative air spring, and the high operating shock pressure creates a linear spring rate that is virtually identical to that of a coil spring. The bike achieves its full travel in this setting and rides at the appropriate sad setting, generally 25-30% to 30 of the full travel, but adjustable to your preference. At this sag setting, the BB height is lower and the head angle is slacker for maximum high speed control. On this side of the bike is the short travel setting, which is called Elevate. When the Elevate setting is engaged, a spool valve closes off one of the air chambers and redirects the oil flow through the Elevate SVT damping assembly. This creates a smaller total air spring volume, cutting the available travel by 40% and reducing the sag, resulting in a firmer feel, a higher BB and a steeper head angle, perfect for efficient climbing and fast technical riding. The damping circuits in the Elevate mode are tuned to work in conjunction with a progressive spring rate of a smaller air spring to limit unwanted suspension movement while still letting the suspension work, absorbing bumps and maximising traction. It's all good and well having an adjustable travel rear end on a bike, but if you don't have an adjustable travel front end, it's not going to work as it was first designed to. The Cannondale Jekylls and the Claymores come with Fat Fox Talus Forks as standard on the higher models, which are adjustable between a short travel and a long travel setting. The Fox shown on the front of this Jackal are a pair of 32 Fox Taluses. On the right hand side, you have two adjustments you have your air spring and you've got your Talus adjuster. The Talus adjuster is currently set in the short travel mode, so if you were to turn it, it will pop up into the longer travel setting, bring it back to 140mm. On the left hand side, you have a lockout adjuster and your rebound dial. So you can set your fork up for either climbing, descending, rough or smooth terrain. On the 180mm versions found on the Claymores, you'll have the same system on the right hand side, so you'll have your air spring and your talus adjuster. But on the right left hand side, you'll have a compression dial set up, one high speed, one low speed, as longer travel forks are designed for bigger hits and more free ride orientated uh, riding. So hopefully that's explained how the new adjustable travel suspension system from Cannondale works. If you have got any questions, you can always give us a call on 01274 588 for the shop, or you can go to Cannondale's website for more detailed information. So it's all good and well talking about it, let's take it out and see how it rhymes.
contacts. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I don't like a